Okay, hi everybody. So what I want to do with this quick video here is just talk about rational exponents really quickly and how they work. So and I'm going to do a little bit of back and forth here to start off with. So notice that the area of a square is going to be the, the length of the edge squared. The volume of a cube is the, the length of the edge cubed. So in this case right here, uh, what if I've got here, if I've got this is 3 and this is 3, I know that the area is going to be 9. If this is 2 by 2 by 2, I know that the volume here is going to be equal to 8. Okay, now I can go backwards with this and say that, okay, if I know that the area is 9, then what's my edge length here? And so uh, without going into the issues of plus or minus here, we're just going to simply say the square root of 9. And I know that that's going to be 3. Over here, if I know that the volume is equal to 8, and that's the edge cubed, I know that I can take the cube root of 8, and that's going to get me the, the length of the edge, and that's going to be 2. Now, watch this here, though. So what I know, therefore, is that if I take the edge and I square it, so the square root of 9 times the square root of 9, I will get 9. Okay, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. That's what that is. If I take the cube root of 8, multiplied by the cube root of 8, multiplied by the cube root of 8, in other words, if I take the cube root of 8 and cube it, I get 8. 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. Now what I want to do is I want to take a look at a, at a different operation altogether here. Okay, so just bear that in mind here. Now, if I take 9 to, let's say, the a, multiplied by 9 to the a, if I say that that's equal to 9, to the 1. Okay? Watch what happens here. Well, when I multiply two powers together, I know that I add the exponents. This becomes 9 to the 2a is going to be equal to 9 to the 1. And if I've got a power that's equal to a power and the bases are the same, well then, therefore, it must be true that the exponents are the same. That's the only way that works. So if power equals power and the bases are the same, then the exponents must be the same, which means that a must be equal to 1 half. So in other words, I can say here that 9 to the 1 half multiplied by 9 to the 1 half must equal 9. But that is a really similar sort of an expression to what we wrote up here. Something multiplied by itself, okay, the square root of 9 times the square root of 9 is equal to 9. Something multiplied by itself is 9. And then down here, I've also got 9 to the 1 half times itself is equal to 9. Therefore, the square root of 9 must be the same as 9 to the 1 half. Up here, I know that uh, I've got the cube root of 8 times cube root of 8 times cube root of 8 is equal to 8. So let's go 8 to the a multiplied by 8 to the a multiplied by 8 to the a is going to be equal to 8 to the 1. And then I know that that's going to be 8 to the 3a is 8 to the 1. Powers are the same. Bases are the same, which means the exponents must be the same. And therefore, a must equal 1 third. And so 8 to the one third times eight to the one third times eight to the one third must be equal to eight. And by comparison to the expression up here, I know that it must be the case that the cube root of eight must be equal to eight to the one third. And so this is what we're trying to get at with this. I just want you to see that when you've got this, this denominator in an exponent, that is gonna be the same as the root index. So in other words, the nth root of some value x is going to be the same as x to the 1 over n.